you Hi. can you hear me i can yes i can hear you this is this, this is such a staple for the past 2 years and it's unfortunate this might be coming back but I yeah know. we can hear, right but yeah. i'm so glad we're doing this again this is it's been so long i think we did this last year in october and glad we did this impromptu plan correct <laughs> And when Because I did it, I thought that other we don't hmm. do it today, then it will get pushed to probably twenty twenty three. So it's better to have a call <laughs> in twenty twenty two. Yeah, yes. that's great. And I'm so glad we're doing this because I've been meaning to start doing Kitabi lives again. Hmm. I've just yours the yours been so crazy work wise, and I've been meaning I, for so I, long. I I suggested that we should do a live again because साल में एक live तो बनता ही है मतलब दोबारा करना last week connected was in twenty twenty one so I think lots to yes. catch up on yes so just to kick it off how how have you been what are you reading these days yes I'm very very hmm. passionate about the current book that I'm reading because that's going to be something that I'd be recommending very soon to everybody on my Instagram. Uh, right. And uh, yeah, I'm in love with this book, and I've been talking about this book to my friends as well. So this is the book that I'm reading right now. It's called Conversations on Love. Oh right, I I think I've heard of this. In fact, that's the next yeah. book that I wanted to read. Someone oh, was saying, "Please, wow. please, okay, okay. no, I'll tell you why. Please, please tell me more about the book first. Yes. So this book actually is a compilation of a lot of uh, conversations or interviews or whatever done with. A host of people. I don't know if mm-hmm. this is. If, I can't. It's, it's in, no. It's mirrored. It's mirrored. Mirrored. Yes. Uh. So there are a lot of authors. Um. Everybody who is basically unpacking the idea of love. Mm-hmm. But. Uh. Mm-hmm. Also, I want to first give the disclaimer. This is a book on love, and it is a uh, real life conversations with real people. So obviously, sab logo ka um. You know, psychology and where they come from. and all right. the ideas on love intimacy all this is uh, right. determined by a lot of factors that happen in a person's own individual life but i uh-huh. like to read it not that right. i would necessarily co-opt it in my life but i like right. to read these ideas about other people so uh, right. this is a book which i'm very 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 impressed by and i right. have uh, had a lot to highlight <laughs> uh and uh, wow that's so that's I'm quite a lot in fact two highlighters so these okay. are like extremely important notes and these are like notes which uh in the fluorescent one is the one that mm. i would just like yeah something mm. that has touched me but pink yes. highlighter means it's, it's the most important thing that's yes. right for you yeah i'll sure. tell you i'll tell you why i wanted i was going to talk about this as well because this is what i'm reading it's also by penguin it's 11 ways to love It's largely oh. revolves around. So this is slightly different. This is not conversations, but this is essays on love, right? So I'm half. My favorite the topic. Book. Yeah. It's my favorite topic these days because <laughs> I've learned that I have learned that uh, with age and with more awareness, you actually get confused with so many uh, things that you know keep happening in your life, which make maybe I don't know making you behave in a certain way. So if you get clarity from some other person, then why not take that clarity? So I love right. this. and i think i think what i pick mostly like when i'm particularly when you're reading about something as abstract as love right abstract and solid at the same time right it's such a different concept than everything else that you encounter is that often there are things in our life that happen that we i know take for granted or don't really think much about but someone else might be right like something when i was reading this book uh it's got essays where people are talking about loves of different kinds so like the first ones from a caste perspective the other ones from a body shaming perspective right like yeah so it just these are things that we never pick up on right like these are things maybe right. that it, maybe your privilege prevented you from thinking about it or maybe you were just too thick skinned about certain things to think about things and it adds so much like a such a interesting dimension to your thoughts like one of the things that i picked up was uh, you know how uh, people get insecure when they are in love right like you know or you know something i basic is oh you know if i was if i look like this or if maybe you don't really like me for how i look and something else altogether right and that is your insecurity but uh, an interesting bit that i read was that when you actually engage in that kind of conversation with your partner right multiple times frequently what you are actually kind of telling the other person is that you don't trust them when they say something to you right like when they say that i love you you're kind of rejecting that premise altogether and letting your insecurity be your truth and that Correct. can be a very you know emotionally draining process for your partner and that that actually was very like eye opening for me in that sense 
because yeah. i tend to be that insecure person so it's it's a very uh, we all are actually somewhere and also the disclaimer right. with all these books you know mm-hmm. on love intimacy uh, how to maneuver a relationship they are all things which you can read about but at the end of the day you have your own history you have your own conditioning you have your own behavior patterns mm-hmm. so it's not something that can you know put you on the right right even when i am recommending these books is like i am not an expert on love that's why maybe i'm reading these books and only to just get more empathy and only to make you feel things or be more sensitized to things which Right. probably i'm not so that's the disclaimer with all these books uh, especially right. on this huge humongous topic like love so yeah that's right. the thing that no. but i i still want to recommend this book to yes. everybody uh, conversations on love to, everyone and yours is called uh, 11 uh, ways to love 11 ways 11 to, ways to ways. love it's essays right. on uh, love actually you know you made a very fair point particularly about not being you know an expert at certain things but still recommending books around it because i think yeah. uh one of my favorite author jumpa lary spoken about this i think not particularly this but one of her quotes which i absolutely love is the about books is that books let you travel without your feet leaving the ground right and i think in that sense you don't have to be an expert to recommend a book because you're recommending yeah. an experience it's what it's making you feel making you think you're not saying that this is the right thing but this is something that well it's worth exploring right worth thinking about and also about. because uh, you know you read a lot of books mm-hmm. or whatever doesn't mean that you are not you are infallible that you'll not be make, making mistakes because you've read so many experiences and stories and narratives that you are becoming that person who's invincible ki matlab obviously <laughs> you will make your own uh, you know set of mistakes right. uh, but right. the idea is to read from everything and however much sensitized you can be at the end of the days is mm-hmm. my point So yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough actually. But uh you know that's something that's very interesting because it reminds me of some this other author. Right? I'm reading on a Murakami collection of short stories. I think you can see it. It's blind. Wow. Oh, my book fell on me. Good that's called like yeah. What? Sorry. Sorry. No, I love the idea that there's so many books that they're just falling off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i can't complain about that I, actually i think yeah, i can see sally rooney's uh, book at the yes. back right yes. on your left sally rooney is yes sure yep, yep. yeah the sure. blue is Be- beautiful world where are you right that this was this is the, on my tbr i've the... not still left oh, uh, read this book Oh, you really should because I think that's the next thing I'm going to talk to you about. Sally Rooney's work. Some it's an interesting kind of fiction that I've been reading. But yeah. uh, just I'll finish off Murakami first. Yes. Because uh, this book is called, called Blind Willow Sleeping uh, Woman, and most of you who've read Murakami, and this is something uh, just flowing from our previous conversation, right? About how say reading and in this case writing about. certain topics right murakami tends to write more esoteric stuff and talks about more broader philosophical questions but a subject that he often writes about is love and attachment and intimacy mm. right and um uh, like as a teenager i would read like i'd start reading in my late teens murakami a lot more and in my early 20s i'm very enamored by his work but now i've turned out to be a little more critical of his work because he's one yeah. person whose whose treatment of women characters is not really the greatest out there right and it's it's something that deserves to be called Talked out but that yeah. definitely but that being said that doesn't take away from the fact that well he's a writer who writes about he is also a person who experiencing love and writing his experiences down and people kind of can take away from it not mm. necessarily makes it the best particular uh, advocate of him uh, that's but that's a good that, sign that, that you are uh, picking on mm, these mm. things because uh, that's a good sign that's a good sign of uh, your own mm. evolution because maybe back in the day you were appreciating the things and were not like kind of seen through right. Right. but yeah um absolutely yeah, i think i think that's that i think that's the point of reading books also like i find a lot of people who would just i mean not change after say 5 years of reading or this thing which i find is very weird if uh-huh. you're not experiencing change after like a substantial amount of reading you're throwing reading wrong i guess mera yahi kehne ka matlab hamesha hota hai jab koi puchta hai ki aap kyu kitabe padhte ho iska matlab what is the actual the like the bigger premise of you know reading and allowing it to affect you is because how does a person evolve a person evolves right. only through their own experiences or through conversations right. or through the experiences of others which they are going through first hand so how do you move from point b to a to c in your life or whatever wherever for you to right. move you need to absorb something you can't be in a shell and just be you know um, yeah taking things from what's happening just in your immediate surroundings so this gives you an uh, books are always a window to uh, right yeah 
but yeah that's a more generic uh, topic but i also yeah. wanted to so i've written down hmm. a list of books which i've read <laughs> through the year yes. kind of yes. i was assimilating my own list and yes. um, um i wanted to talk about a book and an author called elizabeth strout i hope i'm getting the name right have you read the uh, have you read the I, author then i'll just no i haven't, I haven't i haven't so no, please, please talk about it so the book is her. called o william Okay. Uh, it's by Elizabeth Strout. I've uh, posted about it on my Instagram also. So mm-hmm. anybody who's looking to get through a le- reading slump and wants to like the analogies that I draw from mm. this book is like it's like a Kapoor and Sons kind of a book, where you are okay. you know it's warm and there are more interpersonal right. dynamics and everybody has uh, different facets to their personality. It's not like uh, the right. protagonist is uh, like yeah you know. uh sacred mm-hmm. and this and that so it's a very very good book for anybody mm-hmm. who's uh, wanting to go just into a story with uh you know just you know flow with the story so this is a very right. good book it's mm-hmm. called o william by elizabeth strout and mm-hmm. uh, yeah there are more books but we'll get to that yes no uh, because no that's actually a very interesting i because that brings me to the sally rooney book that we were talking going to talk about right yes. uh this year i've had the opportunity to actually explore a few books like sally rooney's uh matt higgs the midnight library which went was very popular Why? on instagram mm-hmm. right and everyone loved it and uh, this book called anxious people by frederick by frederick back right? yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. right Again, and uh, cult favorite yes and the thing that i realize about these books is they are well written books but they're very different from the kind of literature you would generally associate with well written books right they are very wow. the, the way you describe them uh right it's i would tend to call them the kapoor and sons kind of books you know like more uh just warm and easy <laughs> flowing books that you could read the first parameter of <laughs> what kind of fiction or not yeah but that that's how you draw art right i think art is always yeah. could be compared to each other and I, I've just been noticing this trend of books picking up. Is that something that you've also noticed around, or is that just generally more writers, more authors are kind of picking up those kind of books, wherein the story is shifted from one specific topic that you're going to talk about to rather just like these slice of life issues, which are more warm and appeal appeal to people a lot more. Hmm, I haven't read those many books. This was Not one sure. of the only books that I read. This O William by Elizabeth Stout. So that's why it was right. a refreshing page for me. because the entire year i just read you know mediations and apologies and you know very heavy mm-hmm. duty books like um, mm-hmm. i read rachel cask again i read roxanne oh. again few feminist oh. writers which right. i have been following now so us wajah se mujhe ye book bahut refreshing lagi but i i know right. what you are also trying to say that maybe for a mm-hmm. universal appeal people go for the slice of life kind of a narrative and right. that hits home with so many people like you mentioned mm-hmm. uh, uh, frederick back what's the book's name the discomfort anxious uh, people anxious people anxious people and there's another one called the discomfort of evening i don't know i, I think they're both by the same author okay. so unka mere khayal se inka purpose hi hota hai to just make you flow with the story and uh, not probably right. i don't know you will latch on to what you want to latch on to right. but i i i i haven't actually uh, read a lot of slice of life's books okay like right. not in the last right. one year right वैसे नमित आप मेरे को एक बात बताओ मैंने जैसे इस साल वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट थिंग्स दैट आई फेस्ड वाज सो 2022 फॉर्चूनेटली वाज वन ऑफ दोस इयर्स व्हेन थिंग्स जस्ट ओपेंड अप मच मोर कंपेयर टू 2020 एंड 21 राइट नो लॉकडाउन पीपल नो मोर एज मच मास्क कल्चर एंड पीपल वैक्सीनेटेड सेफ फॉर समवट रिजेंबलेंस ऑफ नॉर्मल सी राइट एंड ऑब्वियसली दैट मींस पीपल आर वर्किंग मोर एंड डूइंग अ लॉट मोर थिंग्स व्हिच दे कुड व्हेन दे कुडंट राइट यू डोंट डू इन द लॉकडाउन so i know if it was the only reason but i did experience a lasting reading block this year okay mm. and i've been struggling mm. with it in a very different way altogether because uh so i like all kinds of other art form blocks right like writers block or i i don't know if actors have an actors block for a prolonged period of time or not but That's, i'm assuming there is something like, similar <laughs> yeah for, actors yeah, exactly. have only days of unemployment and uh, <laughs> like yeah maybe bad acting days which happen to them and only they know that it's happening <laughs> right fair enough but and exactly my point right like so when it comes to any other form of expressive art writing or yes. acting or singing it's demonstrable you can see it right mm. you can there is an obvious lack of uh, something that's happening a readers blog is so weird it feels so weird because I know as a person I love to read. It is something that it's an activity I cherish. I'm surrounded by books. I know when there's a 
book that I've wanted, which you know, which I have my eye on for a while, or my author, I like, I'll buy the book. But somehow I've not been able to read as much, and I don't know where that is coming from. But that is something one of my friends recently pointed out that maybe that's possibly a reason that you know maybe there's just a lot more things that you're doing now because of how things are around the world. Correct. So do you have you experienced something similarly, or just in general beyond this? Like, do you think that when you're working or you just have these phases when you're not able to read? as much or can't read as much even if you want to yeah i think it's very frustrating when that happens and you're aware about it because um, mm-hmm. then it plays on your mind you because at the end of the day nobody is forcing you to do this it's not an imposition it's a, right. a natural thing that you are inclined towards and you don't want to let go of that hab- whatever it's if you're habituated to it or if you love doing this so yeah you feel frustrated so i also mm-hmm. had a, a period uh, in which i was working and mm-hmm. uh, it was a very strenuous kind of a shoot so i couldn't read much and that used to just be like um, i read a book which was very closely associated with the character that i was playing but again okay. nothing you know and i didn't make time for it so i did feel guilty that you know mai kyu kar diyu aisa but when the shoot ended then i tried to resume but i would say i haven't read as many books as i, as I did uh, last mm-hmm. year and mm-hmm. today i was going through a journal of mine in 2019 i had read like so many books that i was like oh my god i'm this year i've literally scrambled and just put together a list of like what 10 books 10 11 books which i have and that's not a good score for me i know <laughs> i know i i can understand yeah, the pain i, I can understand what that Thoda, it, it's a it's a self imposed guilt nobody is asking you to do anything nobody but there are people who have a different theory on this there are few people and i've seen this difference that wo log zindagi mein hi sirf 10 20 kitabein padhenge but usko bahut acche se padhenge so they can just you know talk to you about us book ka jo pura jo nichod hai they can talk to you about that with so much of clarity i am right. that person who is reading so many things simultaneously who wants to read every book that has come out and not every book maybe but everything that interests me right. so for me that's why it's so important to make notes to annotate uh, right. to make my uh, you know own have my own thoughts about the book and maybe put it on instagram or somewhere because right. that's something that i feel ki one of them mujhe i am i'm reading too much i know that incrementally wo cheez kahi pe pahuncha rahi hai mujhe but uh, the for me the matlab uh, conclusion ye nikalta hai ki jo bhi kitab padho uska like today also while i was just thinking kya kya kitabe padhi i had to just you know quickly run my, my mind through ki what did i feel about this book and thankfully i had my notes and and the weird bit happen i get what you mean because i think wo kya hota hai sari books na aapke dimag mein chaotically ek sab thoughts ban ke reh jate hain and it ah, but, i have particularly noticed this with books like by say murakami or jumpa lehri or people like who have written multiple books and with like mm. differing story lines but similar themes right so all ah. of that just mixes up i'm like wait was this in this book or was it that other book wait was this the story line was this what he or she was talking about or i just know a ch- and the other thing is the bit that you were talking about like people who read 10 20 books and then you know they can quote them and they can recite things and you know just this is what the character said and everything and uh-huh. uh, for me just like ha huh, i think us book mein usne like mere ko yaad hai he spoke about say depression in this way right this was his take on depression but i can't quote the exact sentences unlike like maybe one or two here and there right like the one, yeah. maybe your pink highlights the ones you yes. highlighted in pink not the fluorescent one fluorescent ones dimag mein yaad rehte hain broadly aisa aisa kuch bola tha but not the exactly exact. good analogy <laughs> that's why <laughs> yeah. this is my first book that i'm using with highlighter right. because i want to reread it and i right. want to absorb something about this book maybe to form my own opinions borrowed from these i mm-hmm. like ideas that have been thrown at me so that i can execute it in my life and not forget right. them because right. um, easier said than done it's all theory but still mm-hmm. i'm trying but i know uh, this is kind of a dilemma that all of us have to go through but ha kitabe to aur padni chahiye hi that's the that's the take away from this uh, padhenge padhenge 2023 mein aur zyada kitabe padhenge kya pata abhi kuch aur lockdown ho jaye we are <laughs> I I do I no I'm not going to do that I I was very I was very close to I I was very close to saying this I wish it happens but then I was like no I'm not wishing a lockdown on anyone again uh but uh this two quick questions uh yeah. the, over this other ten twelve books of ten fifteen books whichever you read this year so did you notice like a change from the kind of books you picked up the last year like the books that you felt drawn to do you feel more mature as a reader with just this one year gone by is that a thing that's happened 
is a bad parameter of my maturity. I think I have taken two steps back. <laughs> Uh, I've I've also started reading a lot of things online, so that also right. consumes some kind of energy from me. I feel that I read a lot of quotes, I read a lot of shayari, I read a lot of poetry. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. usme bhi the time jata hi hai. That's also okay. reading in a way. But uh, last year's the only thing that I've carried is that I'm following women writers consciously, and I want to be able to do that uh, every mm-hmm. year with like. Like I want to read all of Rachel Cuff's book. I think we discussed it last year also. Yes. I think did. I mentioned kind of the same author. I had told you I want to read more Oxanti. I did that this year. Then um, I want to read more Susan Sontag. These are people who I want me to affect me. So I would right. want to continue doing that. But this year again, fiction, except for uh, the one book that I mentioned, Elizabeth Stroud, I have not picked up fiction. Um, so that's not a great. Actually, yeah. I should be reading more. Uh, yeah, there should be like a good balance between the good two. Good ba- balance because otherwise, it's all all of them are just like you know, uh, non-fiction arena. But fiction, पढ़ना भी imagination के लिए अच्छा ही होता है. So I would uh, want to do that. But other than that, uh, there's not been a very conscious change. I think I get drawn towards the same kind of authors. Like today, I was reading something, and then. On Google, it said, "What would you, what should you read if you like, say, an author like Ali Smith, who I mm-hmm. want to read next?" So it said, "It said Rachel Cusk." So in sabme, I see that there's a connection. Hai. And even mm-hmm. in this book, conversations mm-hmm. on love, a lot of these authors who've had an interview series with, I have mm-hmm. read them. So I feel like there mm-hmm. is a small kind of a thread of, you know, uh, mm-hmm. maybe some similarity in their thoughts and ideas. So I have right. a tendency to get drawn towards the same authors. Right. Right. So, but okay, two things on that actually. Um, this is something that I felt for uh, like the English language in general. Like I predominantly read in English, right? Yeah. And most like a lot of people, and unfortunately, fortunately, like like the higher up you go in a privileged class, most people just end up reading in like English. Maybe mm. a some Hindi here and there, but very few people like read regional languages. And on the other hand, even regional authors, right? Or like yeah. Indian authors or Authors who've written in a regional language and been translated. So, has that been a conscious choice on your end also to try and I know explore more on that end? Yeah. And just like a quick yes. second question also because, so I always used to like initially like for a few years ago, uh, I used to love doing this right. Like I mean, if you like reading X Y Z author, you might try reading X A B C author as well. But what I felt was that was kind of pushing. Me into a echo chambery zone, you know, like that. There are similar kind of views that are reflected by those similar kind of authors who I'm reading, and while I yeah. am comfortable with it, uh, the kind of views they're expressing, or maybe I'm liking them on some level, or feeling that this is what I should read, I end up like just prolonging my yeah. journey there and not exploring as much. Is that Other something? Areas. Is that a problem you felt faced like over the last year or something with the? Because you mentioned that you read authors whose work uh, have similar themes or similar writings. मतलब बीच बीच में ऐसी कुछ अपनी ही वे में लाइक आई रीड अ बुक दैट विल ब्रेक दिस पैटर्न लाइक आई रेड दिस बुक कॉल्ड माय ईयर ऑफ रेस्ट एंड रिलैक्सेशन बाय आई डोंट नो हाउ टू से दिस नेम उतेशा मुश पिक आई डोंट नो हाउ टू से दिस नेम द बुक्स नेम इज माय ईयर ऑफ रेस्ट एंड रिलैक्सेशन व्हिच वाज अ आई अगेन एक्सपेक्टेड टू बी एक्सपेक्टेड इट टू बी लाइक अ my year of rest and relaxation will be something on solitude and rest and relaxation it turned out to be i didn't read the blurb i didn't read mm-hmm. research much just bought the book and it turned out to be antithetical to that it was like somebody who was going through something very major and it was like a fiction um read and it was very very hard for me to but that also like i i do that uh, i did that unconsciously but that also helped me to like just get into a different you know uh right. zone altogether but yeah i haven't I, i i don't think i'd be an echo chamber if i read the same because i find that these authors that i am particularly reading are radical thinkers at the end of the day so they will give me something to chew on which is different from the mainstream so right. i have chosen maybe the few few set of people who inspire who will inspire the correct thoughts in me but yes it's important once in a while to uh, read something that also opens up your mind differently That's why I'm saying I need to read more fiction also because uh, end of the day mm-hmm. I'm an actor. I need to stir my imagination. I need to work with characters and stories. Or books, yeah. reading is the best way to do that. Yeah. But I've watched a lot, lot of good, great films also. So I think I'm doing my homework. Right. I mean, 
yeah i think so that's something i tell people right like so uh, i've been reading as ever since i was a kid okay so now that i'm like old enough there is often times when like relatives or friends of friends you know they bring their kids and they're like you know aap yaar se baat karo and some in annoying cases uncle se baat karo and they'll they'll tell you about uh, reading and like in college reading and i have the most radically different view on it i'm like as long as you're consuming information in whatever way that suits you maybe if you're consuming stories it can come through films or books or short stories or documentaries or tv shows it doesn't matter the yeah. idea is to, if you if if i have to find out about world war 2 if i read a 2000 page volume on it or if i watch say a 20 episode one hour long documentary on it i think it's the consumption of that information which becomes important sure there are particular art forms in which you can communicate the information better but i find this with a, a problem with a lot of people right like they their core goal why to through reading is to i don't know get information but they kind of try to force themselves through reading and well they just don't enjoy the activity which kind of makes the journey of getting that information very detrimental and damaging to them mentally yeah right? it drains them and they kind of but many things ka ek mera kya shuruaat hui thi like i started hmm. reading sports editorial um okay. because i was a very big cricket fanatic at one point so i used to read a lot of sports editorial the only sports yeah. section and then after that i graduated to reading the uh, i remember there used to be a section called the speaking tree right next to that sports editorial yeah. page so dheere dheere udhar padna shuru kiya films used to interest me so i used to buy a cinebrits and film fair and a femina yeah. and i used to go through all those magazines that was my initial uh, foray into reading so yeah. i am not somebody जो मैं कहूंगी कि मैं शुरू में ही एक पीजी वुड हाउस दे दूंगी एंड तुम कमाल करोगे आई रेड व्हाट इंटरेस्टेड मी इंक्लूडिंग अ स्पोर्ट्स स्टार इंक्लूडिंग अ फिल्म फेयर इंक्लूडिंग यू नो थिंग्स व्हिच एंड उसके बाद फिर लगा कि आई मजा आ रहा है पढ़ने में देन आई स्लोली शिफ्ट ट्रांजिशन इनटू रीडिंग बुक्स एंड या एंड आई नो दैट अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल आस्क यू कि बुक्स पढ़ना कहां से शुरू करें हाउ टू गेट इनटू द हैबिट ऑफ रीडिंग अगेन इट्स समथिंग दैट यू नो अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल से कि टाइम कहां मिलता है which now i think uh, uh, yeah i have more sympathy to this question but uh, the thing is ki nikal sakta hai time bhi nikal sakta hai if you have uh, the intent okay. in you to just give 10 minutes and the the only point that i'm coming back to again ki uska incremental effect aapko saalon mein dikhega ki the way you Absolutely. think the way you speak the way you uh, form sentences or put words together or you know converse with the person with new, new ideas chote chote asar aapko उठाओ मेरे काफी दोस्त हैं हु डोंट रीड राइट बट आई यूज दिस ट्रिक टू कैन गेट देम इनटू रीडिंग सो लॉट ऑफ एंड दिस इज सम ऑफ माय मेल फ्रेंड्स राइट ऑल ऑफ देम आर ह्यूज फुटबॉल फैंस सो आई थिंक सो एलेक्स फर्गसन द मैनचेस्टर यूनाइटेड फेमस मैनेजर आई थिंक आफ्टर हिज रिटायरमेंट या ही केम आउट ऑफ द मेमोआर और समथिंग राइट आई बॉट अ कॉफी लाइक फाइव सिक्स कॉपीज एंड आई गिव इट टू माय फ्रेंड्स आई एम लाइक लाइक प्लीज रीड like right. oh this you might will interest you and they play very gleefully picked it up or so alex ferguson spoken then from there they just start reading sports biographies and like it just that domino effect kind of went around right but end of the day again you cannot either force somebody hmm. to do this and it Absolutely. has to come from matlab aap aadat banane ki koshish kar sakte hai end of the day it's in your hands to make it up kharidni hai tumhe hi padhna hai tumhe us cheez ke sath rehna hai so it's right. it's about what uh, it's your intent also at the end of the day so right. many of my i used to tell them class 9 10th mein ki ye main ek library ja rahi hu ye main uh, borrow kar rahi hu kitab 100 rupees mein but nobody else was interested then i am if if, if somebody asks me ki abhi main kyun kitabein padh rahi hu maybe i can uh, you know uh, right. trace that thing right back to that day when i decided ki i want to consciously do this all my life so yeah yeah you can right. so somebody so namita just to Few more questions before we wrap this up, right? One book yes. that you read this year, which you always wanted to, or like a book that maybe you end up rereading or wanting to reread every year, one or few. Up to ye hone wali hai conversation. <laughs> considering the kind of path uh, life, uh, you know, I, I I was just thinking that you know when you uh, come to a certain stage in life, you have 
like i have a lot of awareness but that's also a problem for me so for me i have to distill my thoughts in a different way तो मुझे ऐसी किताबें बहुत बहुत सूदिंग और रिलैक्सिंग और ऐसा लगता है जो मैं किसी अच्छे इंसान से बातें कर रही हूँ ऑलमोस्ट लाइक थेरेपी सो आई वुड बी रीडिंग दिस बुक आई वुड बी रेकमेंडिंग दिस बुक आई बी गिफ्टिंग दिस बुक आई वांट दिस बुक टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ अकेडमिया फॉर पीपल टू लाइक स्टार्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट रिलेशनशिप्स एंड इंटीमेसी एंड यू नो फिजिकल इंटीमेसी एंड एवरी एट अ वेरी वेरी यंगर स्टेज देन नाउ Right. like how Make we sure. have um yeah so i want to recommend this book and i will be rereading this book uh, other than that mary like you mentioned sally rooney i have to read that i have to mm-hmm. read an ali smith i have to read um, more path breaking again fiction or things which uh, also um are different mm-hmm. from what i've been reading uh, consciously wo bhi karna hai uh, right. so yeah but i haven't right. read a, i haven't reread a book which i uh, maybe Read last year or something? No. Okay, you I have haven't done that this year. Okay. Yeah. Uh, also, everyone asking, we will be saving this life, so don't worry. Um. So the next, obviously, last few questions again. That. How did you stumble upon this book? I mean, clearly, this book has def- been the defining book of the, the year. Did someone recommend it to you, or you drawn to it in yeah. the bookstore? What was it? No, somebody I I somebody on Instagram uh, sends me these screenshots of poetry and of extracts and of uh, quotes or whatever like uh, really a barrage of them. So I caught on to this and I asked that person ki kaun si kitab hai, and then mm-hmm. I researched and then I was like this is something that I want to read and then I started seeing this book uh, on Pinterest on Instagram. So I was like I need this book. Right. I ordered it on Amazon. It was my birthday mm-hmm. present to myself. But the delivery never made it, and I was like, "Why oh. not?" The fourteen days passed, and I was like, "My book has not come." They cancelled the order, and I ordered it again. I don't know how, but I finally so got my hands on it. I was like, "I need to change it." So um, yeah, and I've been reading it at a very feverish pace. Also, it's not like I'm just. I mean, it's fun to read it again. It's fun to read it again. It's fun to read it again. About this book, so this is something that I actually came across uh, on um, like somebody's recommendation on Instagram. Right. Okay. So two final questions. Uh, the genres that or genres books or anything specific that you're looking forward to read in two thousand twenty three. Um, and second, because we discussed this, uh, what's your book target for the next year? How many do you want to read in twenty three? Definitely double of. I want to read double of what I've read in 2022, irrespective is of so 24. Which is like yeah, 11, 12 books. Because in 2019 I had written like 30, 32 books that I had uh, read in 2019, and that was also a year which was there were no lockdowns, but there I was working, but still I managed to like extract every bit of whatever I wanted to. So uh, definitely like yeah, I would aim for at least uh, 20, 20 to 30 books. but mm-hmm. um i want to absorb them um uh, as like yeah uh, in much lasting way enduring way as i can like matlab pad ke thoda bahut uska that lingering feeling i wanted to stay within my system so i highlighters are helping me a lot <laughs> and uh, yeah my notes also so ye yeah. and what was the other question what genres or any particular book that you are looking forward you to you recommend read? Me a genre that I should explore for sure because you know my choices are very uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. So I'm a huge fan of magical realism in general. So like yeah. Ma- Gabriel Marquez and Han Kang and uh, uh, Murakami and these are like these are authors which I love because I think uh, so the thing is the beauty is they aren't fantasy, right? It's not dragons and things like that. It's it's just playing around with human philosophy and the and the pushing the extent of the human mind. wherein you just step into a sort of unnatural circumstance wherein normalcy is suspended and that's where your true philosophical cores are tested right how kind are you as a human being when literally every action that you do is not being judged when say how would you behave how would human beings behave if they're actually told that there's no god or heaven or hell right just a very basic example that i'm trying to give that say a lot of people carry out charity and the first response is you know punya milega or you know it's ill it's good for your soul and everything right in terms of uh, it will secure a place in heaven would people yeah. be as kind or would they engage as in as much charity if they could uh, mm. what if what if you are born into a world where uh, 
polyamory is a common thing right what if you born into that society would you still have the same ideas of love with a post with a partner right would you still want to how would you think about those things and i think magical realism does that i think it allows you to suspend your rules of normalcy and think about things they just figure out your ideals of what love intimacy or just human behavior are so i think uh, that's a genre i think you should really consider exploring 2023 yes i would i, I actually we read a few books and it was a topic that we dissected a lot back in graduation we mm-hmm. read uh marquez uh, during that time but i actually mm-hmm. don't remember at that time because it was such a uh, laborious thing to just be you know theory ko deconstruct karo to kitab mein do to wo na maza nahi tha so i think i would like yeah go back to that and also i want to explore uh, maybe crime fiction or something that i have not picked up in the longest time that will be one book which comes to my mind which actually kind of inspired me to become like i have so studied law formally and uh, a lot of it stemmed from this book called a prisoner of birth by jeffrey archer it's a it's a oh. modern day retake of the count of Mon- uh, monte carlo but very interesting very very interesting book i think you would uh, like that if you like crime fiction I've, I've, and uh, cra- yeah. jeffrey archer was also one of the few writers that i read really early on in my life because my dad right. had a lot of books by him like the fourth estate i don't know there were so many right. of them and i used to read it like cover to cover i used to finish it in like a week's time school ke saath saath chalte chalte so because they were like very engaging so maine bhi jeffrey archer tabhi padhi thi i think around 9th or 10th is when i read uh, this thing first uh, prisoner of birth yes mm-hmm. around that time yes correct yes yeah anyway thank you so much for doing this this was so much fun and i'm glad yes. for m- multiple reasons you've gotten me back on kitabi lives and i've had forgotten how much fun they were and i'm yep. going to do a lot more yes, of and them I, and i think you should continue doing that with like you know yes. lesser breaks in between and you know yes. obviously i'll be there to do this annually i love talking about books <laughs> yes i want people to like talk about it like as frequently as they can because it's just a conversation agar do log bhi isko sun ke kuch acha feel karenge then why not ha ha it, it's actually for me it's just enriching to talk to someone about books kitne log dekhte hai is just the secondary this thing i just exactly. find it so enriching simply like today i learned like i had been hearing about conversations about love uh, for a while like the book had popped up on my instagram also a couple of times and i was planning on picking it up but now like i have a very strong recommendation on yeah hopefully i'll post about it soon so that there are yes, lots of people yes. who can uh, be encouraged to pick up this book and i know when it's about love mm-hmm. people respond naturally to uh, you know knowing more about it because everybody right. is struggling <laughs> On, on, <laughs> on on that rather rather sad note <laughs> but i would real, real, it's, it's it's the honest gospel truth <laughs> on honest gospel truth but i think uh, let the more positive spin being that there are things out there that help you through Correct. that struggle such as the book or this instagram live so well yes. that's that yes. yes on that note uh, thank you everyone for tuning in thank you namita for doing this bye bye and hope to see all of you soon with more kitabi lives bye bye